It's gone beyond a refrain and now a reality, biting hard and leaving many people struggling to keep up. Rising costs of food, fuel, rent, water, electricity, and literally every social good. For 24-year-old Pearl Batista, it has become a daily struggle for survival. The luxury of commuting to work via ride hailing services can no longer be sustained. She has to deal with all the inconveniences that come with using a commercial bus popularly referred to as Trotro in Ghana. Because even the Trotros are not even economical again. Because as I last two weeks, when I take the Trotro from the house to the workplace, it was like four cities, 50 pesos. But now in a span of like two weeks, it's like six cities, 50 pesos now. Aside dealing with the pains of transport fare hikes, food prices have skyrocketed, making it difficult to afford three square meal a day. Her strategy? Pearl does a heavy meal like watching for breakfast, which will sustain her till she gets home for dinner. At first, I'll usually buy watching in a pack, but right now even the pack is two cities and I can use that pack money to buy an egg now. So I would rather either buy it in the leaves or in the rubber and then buy eggs with meat. I don't usually buy fish again because right now fish is 10 cities, it used to be 6 cities. I'm here at Matayoko, close to Afienya. I'm here to meet 27-year-old Kenneth Wera, who works with the private firm at Atimota in Accra. And it will take him 32 kilometers to move from here to the office. And due to the fuel price hikes, among others, he's been compelled to pack his pickup car, which has an engine capacity of 2.7 liters. And now he commutes using Churchill, which he says is quite cheaper, but that is relative. An additional budget of 850 cities is what can fill his car tank now, something which used to cost him 450 cities. Marriage is not part of his immediate plans because his budget is overstretched to accommodate extra responsibilities. I remember sending money two weeks ago to my younger sister to help prepare food for my mom. She literally told me that this cannot even buy oil. I felt so sad I had to open my phone. Because the question is that you work, how much is your salary? Mm -hmm. And you need 1,300 to buy just oil. Mm -hmm. What is left? How do you go to work? Mm -hmm. How do you feed yourself? How do you pay rent? The man, you are not married. No, I'm so what if that, you know, this is, this are one of those things making me not married mm -hmm. because I'm scared to get married. Although a company policy to have workers work two days in the office and three days home may come as a relief, he tells me the hardship still persists. I start to think of the social vices we have in society. People would have to still to make ends meet. Even me that I work, I get money. I cannot feed myself. So not to talk of someone who has not has completed school for several years, unemployment, and now been here to this high cost of living. We may end up just stealing. The situation is no different with digital strategist and entrepreneur Caritas Ai. Beforehand, I wouldn't have bothered. I would just have gone, I mean, I mean normal daily life, and then be like, oh, someone I'm going to here. But right now, it's affecting everybody, and it's sad. She cannot even imagine how an unemployed youth is coping in the current hardship. Caritas only drives a car out when it is critical and worth it. She and her partner intend to put their food business on hold when the last stock runs out. I'm changing my own. I know my friends today, I want to have changed. Some are eating twice a day because you have to drink water to hold your, to hold your body. Otherwise, yawa. For Caritas, communication is key, a reason she expects the presidency to constantly engage the citizenry on the state of the economy. It is refreshing to know that a multinational company in Ghana paid each permanent local employee a one-off lump sum of 7,500 cities to cushion them amid the crisis, until companies frequently adopt such initiatives and government intervening to stabilize the economy, working class citizens, including Caritas, Pell and Kenneth, will continue to reel under the current economic hardship. Although some are optimistic about better days ahead, how far can the optimism take them? George Quinning, TV3 News, Accra.